Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for a weekly angel reading for December 22nd through the 28th, 2014. So let's just take a moment to get really grounded. Um, the angels are showing me that, you know, you're feeling kind of uh, vulnerable at this time of the holiday season. And, um, you, you know, they're saying that you, it's kind of like you have your, there's a lot on your mind, um, that you're, there's a lot of things just kind of swarming around in your mind and you're kind of losing a little bit of focus. Maybe you're even feeling a little lightheaded. And, um, so this is going to require you to really remain centered in your truth, in your light. And they're also showing me that you need some, they wrote the word um, bell. So um, this is telling me that you need some relaxation time. You need to, you know, spend time at the spa, you know, uh, they're also showing me spending time with your pets or animals to just connect in with nature, to get connect in with your own natural rhythms. You know, it's, it's almost like you're losing sight of your truth in all of this, you know, your heart and what your what your how you authentically express yourself so you know when you in holiday seasons you there's a lot of fear that comes up there writing and you have to bear in mind and this is what they're literally saying that you can't um you have to put the right word luggage so they're saying you have to you know just Drop all of this stuff, you know, let all of those things from that you've been carrying from the past and the anxieties that come up for you, possibly with this time of the year, family and friends. They want you to know you're going to be safe through all of this. They're showing me the umbrella. And this is actually the first time they're showing me the umbrella with a person walk underneath it. So, you know, you don't have to worry about anything touching you or or harming you or making you feel like you're just going to melt, have a meltdown. You don't have to worry about this. But what you do have to do, you have to be true to yourself. You have to um, not try to be something, you know, don't try to go home or, you know, try to pretend, you know, just follow your heart, express your truth. Be yourself. I guess that's the word we're looking for. And to just honor the love that you are. Just honor yourself. Honor yourself through all the decisions that you're making. Honor yourself. Do what feels right for you. Don't do what feels right for everyone else. Do what feels right for you. So if you need to go to the spa, if you need to buy yourself something, you know, take care of yourself. This is important to be playful, to have fun, enjoy yourself. Don't let that get pushed aside because you're busy, busy being the, the, the hostess, okay? Um, so let's take a look at the, the card from the Archangel Oracle for this week. Okay, Claire Audience. And so this card is, is, is telling me that you're being, you're being asked to really listen to your guidance. Listen. Pay attention. Okay? Notice anything that you may hear inside your mind. Don't discredit, like, all of a sudden um, information, like a song, that you just all of a sudden realize, oh, my God, why am I singing this? And it could be a message in that or a, a, a poem or a phrase or something. Pay attention to that and notice that as 
guidance coming from your your angels that you're hearing and I'm, I'm really feeling that it is very important for you to listen that the archangel Zekiel is really asking you to listen tune in in this week really tune in and um pay attention to what you need and also be open to as it says here um, guidance that you hear inside your mind or from other people. So, you know, um, just get a sense that you may want to reach out to some people who, you know, you share, you share a lot in common and you understand each other and, um, you know, be, reach out to them for advice, um, reach out to them, to them, to help you to stay centered, okay? Um, let me just tune into this card. Okay, and see. So, and this is interesting, I've never had this, but they're literally showing me a, a noose, like, you know, that goes around the neck, and you're holding it. So, the thing is, is don't fall into traps, okay? Don't, don't get yourself um, caught into some kind of pattern. So don't fall into patterns, these old lessons that may come up from the past, okay? So you think about how you want to feel in every situation, and then think about what you need to do in order to feel that way. So if you're, you know, think about how you want, like if you're doing things for the holidays, think about how you, the feeling you want things to be, how you want to feel in this situation. Don't think about how you want others to feel, but think about how you want to feel, and then go about doing those things that bring that to you, okay? And the angels want you to know they're standing around you. And if you call on them, and they're just showing me a circle of angels, and they keep showing me peace. So, you know, um, they want you to, to be, you know, to kind of, just let things be, you know, go for the ease, go for the peace, do whatever that is, you know, and just stay centered in love. Be very loving towards yourself and loving towards everyone else. And don't engage anything that's negative. Just let it, let it go. Okay. All right. So let me take, let's take a look at the card for the beginning of the week. All right, and so we have the King of Earth. And what I'm kind of getting about this card is, you know, that this card represents you. Um, you being generous and very kind. But what I'm getting a sense of is that, and here again we have this, this rainbow, which to me represents um, truth. Your truth or when someone's telling the truth. And so they're, what they're reminding you is that giving comes from your heart. Real, real giving comes from your heart. And so if you don't follow your heart and you do something, that's not really giving. Okay. And there has to always be this balance between giving and receiving. So listen to your heart, receive what your heart tells you to do, and then offer that to keep that balance. And this card just gives me a sense that things are going to go well for you at the beginning of the week. You're going to feel, um, if you stay really grounded and you listen to your heart, that everything that you do just turns to gold, as the card says, Midas touch, meaning every everyone is feel, will feel uh, happy and because you're happy. So you are the origin of what you experience through and with everyone else. So that's why you must put your put your needs first and you and you channel in your heart what needs to be done. You know, follow that path. Follow follow those that path of love for yourself. Okay, let me just tune in and see if there's any additional messages to this card. And um, what I'm what I'm getting a sense of is, hmm. So they're showing me 
again, for some reason, they want you to give to yourself generously. They want you to have fun with everyone, but they want you to give to yourself. Um, they want you to really um, stay connected, stay in alignment, do what's in alignment for you. Really pay attention to the messages that your soul um, and look for signs from the, the, the angels. They're also saying gifts coming to you and be open to them. Now this could be in many different forms. So notice them as signs and feel like these gifts are going to come as signs to you to, to just to remind you that you're not alone and that you are loved and that this is going to be the greatest gift to give is love, but you've got to receive it first. Okay. So let's take a look at the card for the middle of the week. Okay, the nine of earth. So we have two cards here. Mm. And these cards kind of um, give us, so this is really getting a sense that this is about um, the home, you know, this home health um, finances, but I'm feeling more about home. And, and health with the energy, the green coming from these cards. So in this card um, is for the middle of the week. So this will be Wednesday and Thursday. So Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And um, so this, what I'm getting from this card is that you're going to be in this place where you feel um, successful that this is telling me that you're going to achieve everything that you wanted to achieve um, in this week, that you're going to have a really a positive uh, holiday experience. And um, it's just giving me a sense. And what they want you to do is to just pay attention to all the, the beauty, the abundance in the form of love, that, that you share with your loved ones and friends and that you have around you. Um, you know, just focus on all of the, the things that you're grateful for. And, and the, at this time, everything that you, any successes that you have achieved recently, um, not only just in business, but in your life in general. Um, and, you know, I get a sense that you've been, this has been a year where you've been working very hard on yourself, um, trying to take care of your health, you know, your mental health, your emotional health, trying to create some real shifts and changes in your, your, your life, your daily life, and that these things have, have started to pay off. And you're starting to um, really experience the generosity coming from the universe and from others and others are seeing you seeing the generosity um seeing you as someone who someone they can look up to someone who is um loving and kind so you know really uh, i get a sense of gratitude for the middle of the week and just um and don't forget to to take some time to yourself you know, to 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 be alone when you need it. Like, so again, honor your body's natural rhythm. Don't just get caught up in everything that's going on. It's going to be imperative that you listen to your body's rhythm and do what you feel like doing. And don't worry that you're taken away from others or cheating them because you're not feeling um, at that moment to, that you can be present with them. It, you need to be present with yourself first and then add, when you're, you'll feel rejuvenated and inspired where you'll be even more powerful, a symbol of this love and this generosity, um, and the spirit of the, the holiday season. So give yourself this gift so that you can give the, the right gift to others that are surrounding you at this time. So again, listen, listen, listen. Now let's take a oh, let's just let me tune in to see if there are any additional messages in this card. And what I'm I'm seeing is um almost sort of an ancient kind of a goddess or um some kind of female um 
like a huntress or something like this. Almost reminds me of Artemis. But the the sense that I'm getting from this, and I mean, for all of us, whether we're men or women, but in particular women, um, that this is telling me that you need to um, that you need to honor that you're the inner goddess, but you also need to be strong and to be um, you know courageous and and it tells me that you're independent and that you so don't be afraid um, as well now the, I'm seeing the angels and so don't be afraid to lovingly um, speak up when you need to okay and you can do this with love you can do this with love but don't this doesn't mean that you have to you know allow things to just be to kind of take over you don't have to be pushed around you know you don't have to um sound like a, a romance not, not a romance novel but a, a like a a romance poem or something like this you know you being honoring your truth speaking up saying what needs to be said being direct um there this is also love just another form of it when we sometimes have to speak truthfully okay all right so so yeah so this is someone who's in, is definitely independent and has achieved a certain amount of success because they have that strength they've learned a lot of lessons to get to this place all right so let's take a look at the um car for the weekend it's interesting here comes the emperor and I was just about to say that um, you're going to feel stronger in this, uh, you know, in the middle of the week. There's going to be th that you've learned a lot and you're just going to feel very powerful and very strong in yourself, more confident than you ever have before. OK, so for the weekend, um, the energy of the emperor comes up in the Archangel Michael. And what I'm hearing here from Archangel Michael is that you know you you're gonna to want to take charge a bit here, okay? And you're gonna to want to um, organize things a bit. So you know, get help. Um, you know, engage others to help you. Don't do it all by yourself. You know, really um, call on your inner strength. Really, you know delegate responsibilities to others. If you don't give people directions, then they won't do anything, and then you'll feel resentful of this. So really um, take a, uh, take the lead here. I'm, I'm also sensing a sense of, uh, you f of empowerment, um, that you are, and asking, calling upon Archangel Michael to clear the energy okay, is what I'm getting here from Archangel Michael, to, to clear the energy, um, to, to, to stabilize things for you. Um, don't get into any kind of fear or, or panic about things. Just, just relax and know that you are protected. Let me just tune into this card and see what messages I got here. Yeah, so I'm just seeing that after the after the on the weekend after the Christmas day, there's just this um, needing to ground, and you know you may feel a little bit. Um, it, it there could be some tensions could could surface because of being tired, and so that's why some ego issues could come up, and so that's why it's going to be very important. Um, I'm seeing something about don't worry about changes, don't worry about. Uh, things that make happen in terms of, you know, your life purpose or finances. Don't worry about these things. Um, it, you're going to be a little sensitive, so it's best to, you know, get some, some, some stability here by getting some rest and getting help, you know, taking, giving people um, and asking others to help you and giving them direction is really going to help things be... Um, rather smoothly over the weekend okay so you're just going to need some structure um structured time alone with yourself and you know when you're doing other things so kind of take it easy 
don't feel pushed to, to do more than what you feel like doing. Okay, let's take a look at the card for from the bottom of the deck, which tells us the influence that's going on in this week. So this is very interesting, this card, uh, release. So it's, it's indicating that, this is the Archangel Azrael, and it's indicating that um, I get a sense that things will be peaceful. I get a sense that that some things, this is going to be um, somewhat of a transition for you. And, and I think in a very positive transition where you're going to be feeling like you have um, overcome some major hurdle. So that you are moving in a completely new direction. Um, so I get a sense of, of just overall um, readiness, you know, to embrace and um, and others embracing what where you are and respecting that and um, you know people on respecting your decisions and you know you're comfortable with your choices and yourself. Uh, let me just tune into this card. And see if I get any additional messages. Hmm. So they're they're showing me a tree with you know a hole inside, and they're saying look and ideas of don't worry, look inside yourself, and they're saying that you're gonna see your life differently, and that this is gonna just create a whole new shift for you. That you're just going to, things are going to cause you to get really honest within yourself and you're just going to see things from a completely different perspective. So the angels is asking you to have faith and to trust in the, 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 the shifts that you're experiencing and how you feel um, about your life. Just trust it and, and know that everything is going to be, um, that you're going, to, you're going to be secure, that um, some kind of path is going to open up for you, that you're going to feel a, a, like a new foundation is being laid, uh, that more stability is coming forth um, in this week and from that time forward, that you're going to feel a lot more stability in your life, that something is passing away, something, something, that, um, something old and worn out. In your life is passing away and that's the sense I'm getting so um, I'd like to thank all of you for following here on YouTube and a lot of people have been following new people on here and on Facebook and I want to just um, thank you for all of your blessings and all of your support for this year and to send you lots of love and I will be away um, for the next week and a half. So I won't be doing the angel card messages, daily card messages, but I'll return in the new year. And I want to ask you to send my family um, and prayers to my mother who recently received a diagnosis, a cancer diagnosis. It does look like it's going to be manageable, but this is her third time. So I know her soul just needs some boost of, and confidence and healing. So I ask for your prayers um, and her thoughts and thoughts to be sent to my mother. Um, and so I um, and I will be recording the next week's video early. So I'll record it and it'll be posted uh, this weekend as well. And we'll return um, with a new video um, after January, I think on the new year the first new year so you can have this video and uh, next week's uh, video um, ahead of time so i send you lots of love and and lots of angel blessings and god bless you all and have a happy holiday season and a prosperous uh, new year to come